Hey, it's David here from Freedom Founders. A lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, talk about the fact that they have a lot of difficulty with what they call is time management. Just never had enough time to get things done. Always putting out fires. Never seem, seeming to be able to get ahead of the task list, the daily list uh, that go on and on and on. And I'm going to take a different spin on this. I don't think it's a problem with time management per se. It has to do with who management. Let me say it again. It has to do with who management. That is the people that we need to learn how, you need to learn how to delegate to, to outsource to, rather than figuring out the how to do things. See, we're, we're built typically because we're doers. We take on the world. We were taught to work hard and have a hard work ethic and just take it on ourselves to get stuff done. In fact, most of the time we think, well, if we don't do it, it's not going to get done right. And that may be for a very, very small percentage of, of the things that only you can do. But listen, there's a world of things that other people can do and actually do better than we can do and actually enjoy doing them. So instead of trying to always figure out, well, I don't have time to get stuff done, it's figure out who you can have that can help you get those things done. Whether it's an employee, a staff member, it could be someone who's virtual, could be a contractor, could be another company that you outsource to. But learning how to offload, delegate, outsource, or in some cases just eliminate stuff that just doesn't really matter makes a big, big difference. One key I'll give you right now is if you don't have a personal assistant, that is, if you have a, a local office, uh, you need a personal assistant or an executive assistant or even a virtual assistant who, who connects with you remotely from some other place. My executive assistant does not work with me in my office. I don't need that. I know a lot of people who have executive assistants or virtual assistants who don't work right there within their office because of the internet, the ability to connect today, real time digitally, wherever we are in the world. It's not even necessary. One of the first things you can you should do is get somebody to just help manage your time, manage your calendar, manage your communication, your emails, manage, manage, manage people for you, manage the communications you need to make to people. Just get that one person and just start out with a person like that for just a few hours a week. You don't have to hire someone full time. You need to learn how to delegate, learn how to do it. It doesn't necessarily come naturally to all of us. But once you start and start to get a rhythm and figure out how to do this with someone who's really good at doing that, you'll never go back. In fact, you'll take that part-time executive assistant or virtual assistant or personal assistant and you'll find more things for them to do. If they're the right person, they want to help you because they love doing that kind of stuff and they're really, really good at it. Trust me, I've been there where I try to do all myself. It's not about time management. It's about who management. Go there first. Remember, always stay focused on your freedom. I'll see you.